and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking Zombie Drug Ball Smash Ale. Today we're going to bring to you 1981's Evil Speak. And this movie was directed by Eric Weston. Stars Hollywood royalty himself, Clint <laughs> Howard. <laughs> who has been in many, many, many things. He was in the Andy Griffith show with his brother, Ron Howard. He was in Star Trek as Balak. Uh. Now the Tranya. <laughs> 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 he was in many horror movies, some tacky ones like Ice Cream Man. And the list is, just goes on forever. It also stars Don Stark. And he was probably most famously in that 70s show as Donna's dad. <laughs> right, that yeah. sick perm. Yeah, that, and it was <laughs> turned out to be like a wig. Yeah. <laughs> R.G. Armstrong is in this, and he's in tons of stuff. He's like just a famous character actor, but one horror movie he was in, he, he's in Children of the Corn as that old guy. Yeah, that, that mechanic, yeah, mechanic guy. guy. Claude Earl Jones is in this, and again, he's in tons of stuff, but he's in Bride of the Reanimator, which we covered last year. Richard Mull is in this, and he is famously Bull from Nightcore. <laughs> That's right. The movie starts off, it shows this satanic leader, Esteban, being uh, banished by the church. You know, standing in the water, like, yeah. why don't you get out of the water? Because <laughs> it's cold. Yeah. He's performing like this ceremony. He's got this woman, of course, with her shirt torn yeah. off, chanting, and then he whoosh, takes her head right off. It fast forwards to modern times. We get introduced to Stanley Coopersmith, or as the other kids in the school like to call him, Cooper Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little more partial to Cooper Dink myself, but he's playing soccer, but not very well. Like yeah. the kids are all tripping him. Yeah. We learned that he's attending this school kind of as a welfare student, and it's a military school to boot. Cooper Smith gets asked to help out the janitor Sarge cleaning up the basement of the church. <laughs> Which I guess is also where Sarge lives. Yeah, yeah, because he all <laughs> sleeps yeah. there. He's all passes In out. In dark and damp <laughs> basement. This church was built on land given to Esteban when he was banished from the old country from Spain. See some painting of him yeah. on the wall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want a painting of myself. Yeah. Drinking. <laughs> Cooper Smith comes across this old passageway and he sees all these old books. There's some weird fetus in a jar. <laughs> Dude, it's floating there. And all of a sudden, all the candles are all lit. Cooper Smith takes back one of these books, and it's got this, like, cool-looking pentagram on it with, like, all these jewels all around. It takes that to the computer lab, and he starts typing in all these funerary incantations that are in this book in demon resurrection passages. And the computer starts to decipher what this book says. He gets called to the colonel's office, starts giving him all this shit about that he could do better. <laughs> I see a lot of potential in you. Now, assume the position. <laughs> He starts whipping his ass? Like, <laughs> what the hell kind of school is this? In the meantime, the secretary takes home this book that Cooper Smith left behind by accident. She wants the jewel that's on the front cover. And as she's prying off the jewel, the pigs start to go all nuts and try to kill Cooper Smith. Why this school has a pig, pig pen, pen yeah. is... Yeah. With, like, these giant hogs. These big boars. <laughs> yeah. What the, what kind of school is this? He starts actually trying to read these passages and conduct some sort of ceremony. He gets interrupted because he's late for supper. All the food's gone. He's all scraping Just those tins. Those tins. <laughs> But the cook is nice enough to say, hey, come back here, I'll, I'll cook you a, a meal just for you. <laughs> He's all <laughs> wearing that. Got no shirt on, <laughs> but the apron still. <laughs> cook is nice enough to actually give him a little puppy of this litter. The group of cadets, which have been bullying Cooper Smith throughout the whole movie, calling him Cooper Dick, they're partying one night for this pageant that they're having, <laughs> find their way into the basement and they see that he's got all these weird books you know reading from this text and pretending to do the ceremony they kill the dog so cooper smith comes back down he's already been bullied up at the, the pageant they're making fun of him he's pushed around they take his pants yeah, and take everything? his pants and everything he's what? had enough comes down and to find his poor dog dead decides to finish 
the ceremony to, to bring Esteban back so he can get his revenge on all these bullies, but he needs a human sacrifice. And right when he needs a human sacrifice, a teacher comes down to look for him. Yeah, and give him shit on Cooper top of Smith? <laughs> Koopa Smith? He just grabs him and throws him <laughs> to the ceiling. He's all strong. Where there's this chandelier thing with all these spikes. There's a human sacrifice and Esteban can come back and that's where we're gonna end the plot. If you wanna see what happens at the end of Evil Speak, finish watching the movie. One of the best things about this movie are the effects. And the kills and to the go kills. with the effects. Yeah. Exactly. So um, we didn't really talk about the kills and the plot, so let's go over some of the really good crazy kills in the movie. When the secretary gets killed, by a bunch of those boars. Right. To, they break out of the pen and find their way into her <laughs> apartment. Yeah. After she's getting all naked in front of that fireplace. On the thing. couch yeah. first, <laughs> she slips off her panties. Like, why not just do that in the yeah. washroom? Which is where they kill her is in the yeah. bathtub and they eat her alive. Sarge is a good one because he comes down. There's my goddamn <laughs> fucking crowbar. Yeah. <laughs> They're all getting ready to fight and he pulls his flask out and starts drinking. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> While they're grappling, I guess Esteban or whatever yeah, yeah. Tur just turns his head right around. <laughs> Another great death is when Cooper Smith is finally kind of like resurrected Esteban and gathering at the church and the priest is there and there's a crucifix and it starts yeah. kind of shaking. It's and neat because you see like the, the pulse too. Yeah, the pulse the, the, yeah. <laughs> and there's cool. a nail that starts moving and he's like, what? The nail comes <laughs> out and shoots right into the priest's head. <laughs> Cooper Smith is like sort of resurrected as Esteban and he kind of floats up and he's got Esteban's sword from the beginning. <laughs> and the colonel is there like sort of standing in his way and he just brings the sword down right over his head and splits, splits. his head in half. <laughs> yeah, the whole last half is just epic <laughs> and full of death and beheadings. A lot of heads roll yeah. in this. Characters, you really hate those bullies. Yeah. Even crazy. calling him Cooper Dick is very realistic. Exactly. It's like, that's something we would call somebody is <laughs> Cooper Dick. <laughs> Cooper Dink, yeah, more yeah. so. But. And Clint Howard is very good in this. And not he doesn't play your typical weirdo Clint Howard. He plays it serious, right? Exactly. And he plays it sympathetic, and you really do feel sorry for him. Yeah. And he's got a full head of hair. Right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> kind of, because it's combed forward to, 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 to hide the, the receding <laughs> hair. Y'all grew the yeah. back yeah. out longer. Yeah. The sets in this movie are are actually really damn good. Yeah, especially in the basement. Yeah, like that that whole passageway in that room where he conducts all the ceremonies, and then that extra passageway where Esteban is buried. The music in this movie really it really sets the tone, operatic style with all the big choir. But then also there's a good a good '80s synthesizer score with that too, so it right. kind of melds like the old with the new, which is neat. You also see old world magic meet new world technology, yeah. right? Overall, just good revenge movie. Spend the whole movie watching Cooper Smith being tormented right. and made fun of, and then at the end, he finally gets his own. Which exactly. is, and, then, and then when he does, it's like, yeah, this is great. Exactly. You just have a blast watching it. It's, the, it's like the ultimate underdog story, yeah. right? He's yeah. like this weakling, and then he gets a hold of this power. Yeah and then he uses it to just wipe out all these assholes. <laughs> so if you want to watch sort of an earlier version of like the Prince of Darkness or even Halloween 3, totally check out Evil Speak. It's tons of fun, blood and gore and rolling heads. <laughs> That's right. Who could ask for more? Exactly. <laughs> Until next time, keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs>